All right, hey Lewis, welcome back. Uh, we are heading out with Gav to make for the river in the south of the Velcroy. So, um, I think we need to go to the world map then, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. And, yep, there we go. Need to head down that direction. So it's traveled to the fast travel of the Delmill Inn, and it should be in like the southern part of this little area, pretty much. Oh, that was nice and quick. Sweet. I think it's gonna be out this way. Yep, it's actually right here. Not too far, that's good. Probably won't even need to use uh, our Ambrosia or Chocobo. I don't think so, at least. Looks like I found the river. Where's Gav? Hmm. Probably somewhere around here. Hey, there he is. Sorry to keep you, Gav. Better late than never. I've had a quick scout about, and I reckon round here's our best bet if we want to grab as much of this stardust stuff as we can. Don't know what Blackthorn's planning to do with it, though. I asked over in Dalamil, and they seem to think it was worthless. But if stardust is what Blackthorn wants, stardust is what he'll get. There's plenty of this stuff lying about just begging to be bagged. The river looks kind of nice. Then let's get bagging, shall we? We shall. Race ya. And a river in a desert, no less. That's kind of wild. Alright, uh, where do we gather it from over here? Gather start of 05. Alright. Where is the stuff? Oh, here we go. Hold it down. There we go. There's so one. this is Stardust. <laughs> it's like it just looks like black sand to me. In a direction. <laughs> okay. Going up, maybe? Oh no, no, maybe it's just right all right here. There we go. Where next? Down here. Over here, maybe? Nope. Can't go in the water. Must be back, be back this way somewhere. Did we miss it? Where's the last one? Um, I don't know. It was giving me quest markers for the other <laughs> ones. But this one it's not giving me a quest marker for, interestingly enough. Is it up here somewhere? No. Hello? Where is the stuff? Um... Oh! Right here, okay. I don't know how I missed that, but okay. Cool. That should be enough for now. Perfect. Let's see how Gav's getting on. Indeed. Let's go. <gasps> Let me sprint! Finished? How much did you get? Enough. I hope. Oh, you win. That might even be enough for old <laughs> Blackthorn. Hey, uh, before we go, do you mind if we have a chat? I don't see why not. What's on your mind, Gav? Feels like ages since we had the chance to talk. 
You know, man to man like. It does, doesn't it? Back when you first took Sid's name, we were talking all the time. Working out what to do in that. <laughs> there was a lot to work out. And there still is. Those shoulders of yours starting to feel the strain? Hardly ever see around the hideaway nowadays. Always on some errand or other. You can take a day off, you know. Or says the man who spends most of his time behind enemy lines. Only because you keep sending me there. I know I can count on you, Gav. Likewise. So you keep sending me wherever you need to, and I'll keep going. Safe in the knowledge that I have a home to come back to. Thanks to you. Right. That's enough soppy shite for one day. We'd better get this lot back to Blackthorn before he slings his hammer at someone. You go on ahead. And try to get some rest once you're there. Oh, I plan to. Believe you me. After Blackthorn gets what he needs, of course. Right. Ready to go home, boy? Alright, let's head back, right? Speak with Bluff. Oh, nice, there we go. Let's fast travel then. Yes, please. Save me some time. Thank you so much. Blackthorn. Got everything you need. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Just for the Stardust. Should be enough to be getting on with. We should go out on maneuvers together more often. You know, be sneaking around on your tod all the time. I'll make a start on putting this firm all plating together then. It will take some time, mind. So if you've got other things to be getting on with, I could do without you breathing down my neck. Thank you, Blackthorn. I'll let Mid know construction's underway. Quest complete. All right, nice. Letting off steam. Whoa, did we just get 500 ability points for that? No shot, dude. Holy cow, we got a lot of cool stuff. We could definitely sell some. Suppose we'd better be getting back to work too. Some of those. Give us a shot if you need anything. Valuables. <clears throat> we'll definitely go do that. Actually, I think I can sell to him too, right? Or... What do you need? Um, Sorry, what it be? Nope, I can't. Never mind. <laughs> we could ask him about Hugo Kupka, but um, I think we're right actually. And what can I do for you? Go on then. Okay, that's all right. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and sell these things that are useful to be sell sold. Sold? No, definitely not sold. Oh, let's do four. I reckon I can find a buyer. Boom. I'm Boom. thankful you got that much. Well, that was another thing, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, I think we're just set to go, honestly. Let's report back to mid. It's gonna make me walk all the way over there, though, sadly. Excuse me. That's alright, though. Let's head up. Up, 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 up. And back down. I think Mid might need some help tidying up. You already said that, bro. What if I don't come up with something soon? She already said that. I'll be well. pleased to hear that Blackthorn started work on the plating. Excellent. One down, two to go. So. What's next? The helm, of course. For this, we'll be repurposing fallen scrap. 
Salvage from the ruins? I thought that material was all but impossible to work. Ah, but we don't have to. I'm sorry. Just so happens there's one particular ruin that's broken into exactly the right shape and size pieces for what we need. What's the name back there? I'll give you all details. What's the name? Right. <laughs> Oh, Sid, is this about the helm? Uh, yes. Mid said I should speak with you. I'll show you the plans then. Here you see the Mithril engine, in which Mithril is burned to generate heat. That heat is then harnessed to produce motive force. Excess heat is dealt with by means of the thermal displacement stack, which disperses it into the surrounding air. Now. Were we to rely on thermal plating alone to achieve this effect, the rate of excess heat buildup would far exceed the displacement coefficient of the plating. In other words, the reactor would overheat and eventually explode. This is where the helm comes in. It connects to the plating, you see, and serves as a sort of thermal sink to absorb all that excess energy. Our experiments have shown that fallen ceramics are remarkably thermophilic. They can withstand and absorb levels of heat far above anything we are able to make today. And not only that, they're also waterproof and immune to rust, making them the perfect material for our protective hood. Why, if sea or rainwater were to enter the reactor proper, it would vaporize instantly. The forces produced would tear the ship from stern to... You can stop there. I understand. <laughs> Mid said we might be able to use parts of a fallen ruin. Where would I find it? Ah, yes. It's in Lorbert's Pass, near Lostwing. The thing is, well, I probably should have arranged to have the pieces we need brought here sooner. You see, a certain unwanted visitor has taken up residence there. It's no longer a matter of just walking in and taking them. It's, um going to be considerably more dangerous than that. I see. Then I suppose I'd better deal with this unwanted visitor yeah, for you. Yeah, we do more combat. That help. Let's go. Actually, I'm kind of ex more right. excited to do that. To do that, you, to do that. I'll gather my team and head there right away. We'll meet you outside the ruins. Especially doing that rather than uh, these fast quests type of things. Alright. Let's do it. I'm just gonna go ahead and we can fast travel right away. Last week. Let's do it. Alright, we're back here again. Uh, where are we headed to? Over Good there. day to you. And you as well. Is it down here? Yes. Yeah, Alright. Make sure I'm going the right way first. <laughs> Uh, I think it's this way. I don't know if I need to go up on the bridge though. Let me double check. I think I might actually. Let's go up on the bridge. Is it this way? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, cool. <clears throat> I chose correctly. That's good. It's a good start. I was gonna say, is Sorbet with us? Also, um. Jane, what is the name? Jane? I already forgot actually. Jill, no, Jill. Jill's not with us though. And she said she wants us, us to take her on her on the next uh, uh, mission or whatever. So. Let's go. Interesting. I guess this is a side quest. Why Ambrosia? But let's let's get on Ambrosia so we can make this a little bit quicker. Don't mind if I do. Not in the mood to attack right now. We'll just we'll move on from them. We've already killed it before. <laughs> okay, should be getting pretty close now. There we go. Straight home now. Are they really chasing us? Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say. Hello. There you are, Sid. Um, thanks so much for coming. The, uh, ruins are 
Just over there, as is the creature I told you about, I'd imagine. Would you, uh, would you mind? Of course. I think I already killed this creature, actually, right unless back. it's a different one. I'm pretty sure I did, actually. <laughs> but I miss maybe it respawned, though, for this, uh, this quest. Oh, we've got a mini, mini cutscene. We're in a chest down there. Anybody home? Oh, hello. That is not this must be the same our creature. Visitor. Time to go. Both of those ultimates down. <laughs> oh, yeah. Almost got him. There we go. Let's go. <laughs> Enemy slain. Oh, decent amount of, of ability points, that's good. Some stuff for crafting. The right. things I do for you, mid. Sis! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. You shouldn't have any trouble now. Indeed. Well, don't let us keep you. We'll, um, see that everything is transported safely back to the hideaway. Oh, right. thanks. I'll let mid know you're on your way. Sweet. Okay, I wear increases strength tonic duration by 10 seconds. Yeah. Don't really care, but thank you. Not something I plan to use. Alright, shall we go? Sweet. Alright, I, I will go ahead and grab this chest. I think it was right down here, wasn't it? Yep. <laughs> Got it. Meteor, nice. Alright, let's go ahead and travel back to mid. Thank you for the fast travel. I very much appreciate that. <laughs> Save me a lot of time. Mid. Helena has recovered the material for the helm. She'll be along shortly. Excellent. Another job well done. And just one remaining. Right. Right. The shield in. This one's a bit of a bugger. How so? The plating's enough to stop the engines going pop, but those things will still be spitting out enough fire to set the rest of the ship ablaze. Which is why you need proper shielding. A prison for the dragon's breath that's blazing away inside. I thought a triple thick layer of tempered steel might do it. Or more of the stuff that the Fallen use, but they both be too heavy. The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more weight and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. I need something light. But I've wrapped my brains and I just can't think what I'd do it. Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. Harpocrates. Tomes? Yeah, well, I'd thought of that, obviously. I've got all the details written down here. Can you take this to him? See what he makes of it? Sure you did. Right away. Alright, I guess we'll go find him. Please let me fast travel. No! <laughs> Dang it. Alright. Well. Think mid. I don't think we'd fast travel there, can we? No, not really. Sad. I need some help tidying up that. Alright, let's let's go over to Harpocrates again. The rigmarole where we walk all the way around this entire hideaway. <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and do it. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, I'm gonna go stop by here real quick. No, not him. Live. Not him, but you thank watch you. Yourself out there, all right? Will do. Talk to her real quick. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. All right, nice. Yeah, we did get some some stuff. We got some donations. Let's go ahead and accept those. I gave you that one, didn't I? <laughs> oh, just kidding. Oh yeah, this one. There we go. There you are. Cleric's medallion. Dire wolf chess. Okay. Come that again. I may have more for ya. 
Uh, let me go ahead and check that stuff out real quick. Let's see what it is. Here we go. Uh, that we got. I'm not going to use it though. Healing potion, potency, of, and combo damage by 5%. Ooh. That's actually not terrible, but uh, the stuff I have equipped is just better, I think, honestly. We're I guess we can get rid of the Golden Testament everything. thing, but eh, I think it's pretty good. We'll keep it for now. Although I don't think we're really hurting on money, right? We've got a lot of it. Uh, what do I see? I don't, but we, we have a good amount of money, so I don't think we're really that that worried about the gill at this point. So we could get rid of it and you get something else oh, instead. Combo damage would be nice. Alright, what's up, Hippocrates? Hippocrates, do you have the moment? For you, Clive? Always. Well, actually, it's for mid this time. Could you take a look at this? Shielding for a mithril engine? Whatever will that girl think of next? And what are these notes around the edges? She has some specific requirements for the materials. The shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside, and yet remain cool enough on the outside not to set the ship alight, while also being light enough not to sink it. As you can imagine, she's struggling to find anything that meets her needs. I see. I wondered if you might know of a solution, or if you might be able to search the records for one. Hmm. Perhaps it is not a different material she requires, but a different approach. What do you mean? Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine, at timber and steel alike. And yet... We have made a home here from those very materials nonetheless. We have. But Bardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. And Obelisk complains that without a constant supply of... <sighs> pitch. I see. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as Moondew. It is said to be able to resist even the most ferocious flames. Before the dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order to guard against dragonfire. So if we could recreate it... It might be applied to some material or other in order to provide the protection Mid requires. As to how best to apply it and to what material, perhaps Bardolf and Obelus might be of assistance. I shall speak to them and see what wisdom they might have to offer. If you would be so kind as to procure the necessary ingredients, I shall discuss the specifics of how it might be most effectively put to use with our two friends. The knowledge of the past may yet prove useful to we of the modern era. Thank you, Hippocrates. And since you're asking others to help you, perhaps I should too. So you need a hand, do you? We do. I'll be heading to market for the ingredients we need. I could do with some help. And some company, too. The other can assist me in researching how best to prepare the shielding itself. Can we count on your aid? Always. Well, if Jill's game. Thank you. I am sure either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my research. I leave the decision as to who will go with whom in your capable uh, hands. Another life. one. <laughs> um, well, it would be interesting to leave with Tarya, but because we haven't ever, like, you know, we haven't ever, like, adventured out with her or anything. But, um, I don't know. We're kind of, like, setting a bit of a... guards against even the most ferocious flames. 
We could have done with some of that on Drustinus. Yeah, true. I doubt I would have survived that place with or without it. A trip to Northreach, though, I think either of us could handle. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but yeah, we're kind of fostering a bit of a relationship with Jill, I think, so let's go ahead and go with so her, I think. Like. Although it would be nice have to made your decision? adventure with her once. You on your little excursion. Let's go with Jill. Very well. So then, what do we need to find? I have taken the liberty of preparing a list. Here. White chocobo eggs. Pepio nuts. Are you sure this list is right? Everything on here seems very... edible. I would have thought the ingredients would be a little more exotic. Though these items may seem mundane, they have potent effects that are rarely exploited. Effects for which they were once highly prized. So much so, in fact, that they were harvested almost to extinction, hence Moondews having fallen from favor. Now, of course, they can be obtained with ease. You should be able to find everything you need at the market in Northreach. Is that so? I've been meaning to visit Northreach anyway. I'll set out now. Join me there when you're ready. I will. Until then. All right, sweet. Sounds good. All right. You two enjoy yourselves. You too, Talia. Thank you. You as well. Uh, let's go ahead and end the episode here. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. And we will catch you guys in the next part. All right, see you there.